iPhone 13 vs iPhone 12. It's been 14 crazy years since Steve Jobs graced the stage with his formidable presence and introduced the world to the phone that would change the face of tech forever. This month, Apple unveiled the iPhone 13 as the successor to the popular iPhone 12 with longer battery life, A15 Bionic chip, improved rear cameras and more. As devices that are more affordable than the Pro models but more full feature than the low-cost iPhone or iPhone 11. The iPhone 13 will likely be the most popular option among consumers. In this video, we are going to tell you iPhone 13 vs iPhone 12. Should you upgrade? The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick till the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. We could see that the biggest difference in display is the notch. For the first time since notch came out, Apple has changed it. It is now, it is now a little bit less wide. Apple says it's 20% smaller, but it's actually slightly taller. The camera has been repositioned and the speaker reel for the European speaker is at the top right next to the frame. The 13 is slightly lower and a little bit richer than the 12 and along with that, the European speaker the one that's a little bit higher now is louder as well. That's where a little bit of extra volume boost comes from. So, it does sound a little bit more balanced left to right, which is great for watching movies, play games, things like that. And now, let's compare the display starting with the brightness. Apple boosted it from 625 nits up to 800, which is the same as the last year's iPhone 12 Pro. So definitely does help out, especially if you are outside in the bright sun. Other than that, they are exactly the same. We have the same contrast, the same brightness when you are watching HDR videos, viewing angles, color accuracy, everything else is identical. The new iPhone 13 has an A15 Bionic processor compared to the A14. But how much does that really matter? Well, they both have the same core counts, the clock speed is higher on the new iPhone 13 as far as they are identical. Both of them have 4 gigabytes of RAM, so it is actually able to use the efficiency cores more often. And there is one reason why the Apple 13 has a much better battery life as well. This year, Apple prioritized the Pro models. Those actually have 5 core graphics that are much, much more powerful. Probably about 50% more powerful than the iPhone 12 S. And with the regular 13, they just gave a little bit of improvement, but it's still a 4 core. Now, with this 12% improvement, we also get an improvement in power usage when you are gaming or doing other tasks that needs the graphics. So, once again, that just helps you for battery life. The iPhone 13 S A15 Bionic chip brings a modest performance improvement over the A14 Bionic in the iPhone 12. Early benchmarks show that the A15 in the iPhone 13 offers around 10% better single-core performance and 18% better multi-core performance as compared to iPhone 12 S A14 chip. In graphics tasks, the iPhone 13 performs roughly 15% better than the A14 Bionic in iPhone 12. These performance improvements with the A15 are iterative rather than a substantial potential reason to upgrade alone. The A14 is still an extremely capable chip and in day-to-day -day use, the two devices are likely to perform comparably. Now, one area where we do have a difference is storage. The iPhone 13 comes with 1 to 8 GB of storage for the same price as the 12 last year, whereas the 12 you get 64 for the $100 lower price. And now let's talk about the cameras that we do have some pretty big differences. Like the iPhone 12, the iPhone 13 has a dual camera setup with a 12 megapixel wide camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. The new wide angle camera is, however, powered by a new sensor with improved low light performance compared to the iPhone 12, with 47% more light being utilized thanks to its larger 1.7 micrometer pixels. It's the largest sensor ever to feature on a dual camera iPhone and we are looking forward to putting it through its paces. The new ultra-wide sensor has also been upgraded for improved low-light performance. Though not to the same extent as the main wide camera, the wide-angle camera also has the same sensor shift optical image stabilization previously featured on the Pro Max. It works by stabilizing the sensor as opposed to the lens, which should make for crisper, cleaner shots, even with slightly wobbly hands. Now, the selfie camera didn't change in terms of hardware, but because of the new A15 Bionic processor, we have a smart HDR4 now on the back. We have much bigger lenses, and that is because the iPhone 13 takes the same best camera from the iPhone 12 Pro Max and puts in this body. So, have larger sensors that have image stabilization, lets in more light, and then the ultra wide was also much improved compared to before. Now, 
Not only do you get better image quality, but in some of these images that don't look that different, the new iPhone 13 will take the photo much quicker in night mode because of the extra light. So instead of having to wait, say 2, maybe 3 seconds, it could do in 1 second and that's definitely convenient and it helps have a nice sharp image instead of sometimes having them turn out blurry. And along with that, we also have some differences for video. If you like high dynamic range video, you can actually shoot up to 4 k 60 with Dolby VN, which is great. And then we have the new cinematic mode, which allows you to get the blur with your video. We can actually go the front facing camera and then you can also record cinematic video with the front facing camera. So that's something that is very cool and it's exclusive to the iPhone 13 line. One area of significant difference between the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 13 is battery life. The iPhone 13 features up to 19 hours of battery life during video playback, which is 2 hours more than than the iPhone 12 as 17 hours. One streaming video, the iPhone 13 can deliver 15 hours of battery life instead of the iPhone 12 as 11 hours. The iPhone 13 can also stream audio for 10 hours longer than the iPhone 12. The iPhone 13 is therefore clearly the better device for users who need the maximum possible battery life from their iPhone compared to the iPhone 12. The iPhone 13 isn't a revolution and after 14 years of iPhones, it couldn't possibly be without something as drastic as a folding screen that that is, still it's a solid improvement across the board, which suggests that the overall experience and performance will beat its iPhone 12 procedure, which suggests that the overall experience and performance will beat its iPhone 12 predecessor. And with all of those things compared, let's answer our initial question. Is it worth the extra $100 more to get the iPhone 13 over the 12? Or you should save your money? And is it worth upgrading from a 12 to a 13? Well, for the first question, it is absolutely worth the extra $100 to buy the iPhone 13. There is no way I would buy the 12 unless maybe you are buying a used one for like 500 bucks or something like that. But the price difference that extra $100 are well worth it. First off, you get the extra story that alone cost you 50 bucks more for iPhone 12. So that's only a 50 dollars difference for the two and a half hour better battery life, better CPU and graphics performance, bright display, less dimming when you are outside. You get the new cameras that are much improved. You get the cinematic mode. You have just too many other little things that they've updated. It is absolutely worth spending the extra fifty dollars or hundred dollars if you don't even need the extra storage. Now with that, it is worth upgrading from a 12 to 13. This is where I should say no, I would not to do that. If you already have a 12, you should wait for one extra year or if you do want to upgrade in that case, don't get iPhone 13, get spend a little bit more money and get the 13 Pro. This thing has a lot of improvements, much faster graphics, better performance overall, you get the Pro motion display and a lot more upgrades. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon for more updates and notifications. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video.